Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Panda Pops and I like to bring blockchain gaming and crypto related content. In today's video we are going to be using VoxEdit and I will be showing you how to take an asset and break it apart so you can do different animations with it. If you are new here don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. The first thing we do is we get our model and we start making clones of it. So we make a clone for the hat. So we're just separating each bit. So we're just clicking on that clone button. We're going to do the hats, the main bit of the body, the leg, the arm. And after that, we are going to, we're going to go over to our root and make a control node and off of the control node, a child node, which we'll call the Santa body. We'll move our main Santa over there. And as you can see, he's positioned. And what we're going to do is we are going into the edit tool and we are going to start deleting anything that isn't part of the main body. So we're taking off the legs, the arms, the head and the hat. And once that's done, then we trim our volumes in the top corner and we usually i don't change the pivot but this time i did decide the difference between changing the pivot and not changing it is just um you will need to reposition the other body parts to fit over it correctly off of the santa body we're then going to do the head as a child node so anything that the body does the head will move at the same rate once again we're going to do the same all we want to leave is the head so we're just deleting absolutely everything else trimming our volumes setting that pivot so it's centered and then what we're going to do now is we're going to be positioning that head where it needs to be Next, we're doing the arm and just like before, all we do is we're just absolutely deleting everything else. And because the arms are exactly the same, just uh, two voxels, we're going to just do one arm and duplicate that over the side. The pivot for this is also going to the side. So when the movements, it's moving sort of at a shoulder joint rather than from the center of it and giving it a weird rotation. And we're doing that off of the body as well. So that's the child node off of the body. And we drag it over. What we're going to do again is we're going to position the arm. The rig where it needs to go. And then once it's positioned, we're going to duplicate it. Name it arm two. And we're going to just shimmy it over to the other side and position that as well. I'm also rotating it because from duplicating it, the pivot point's on the opposite side. So I'm rotating it so the pivot point is actually attached to the side of the body rather than out. Now we're on to the legs. Exactly the same process, delete everything other than one leg. With this, the pivot goes right at the top end of the leg. Um, just because that's the bit that would it would move at rather than moving center. We have a child node once again coming off of the Santa main body where we're placing the leg. We're going to position the leg where we want it and then we're going to do the same with the arms where we just duplicate that. Then we position the second leg where we want that to go as well. I ended up deciding to make a clone of the head and choosing to make the hat separate. So I clone the head and I'm doing a child node actually off of the head for the hat. So when the head moves, the hat moves along with it. So we're going to delete everything other than the hat, do the uh, trim volumes, so usually I would suggest don't move the pivot because the, there's no point repositioning it. But the I realized the reason I did 
do this is because I'm going to be doing a bunch of static animations. So to make it easier for me to actually move the hat rather than having to play about with the pivot point being in different areas. What we do need to do is we go back to the main head and we take the hat off of that and uh, reduce the volumes too. Now that he's set up all correctly, I go over to the animations and I start making different animations. The first thing is idle. What we need to do is we go down all of that zero point keyframe and select it all, copy it, scroll back to the top and then paste at one keyframe, which is one of those little lines. Now we're just going to do a real quick speed run through some of the setups for different animations. So we've got a standing animation, playing about with movements of the arms, and once again doing the copy and the paste to make sure it works when it gets over into the game maker. Then we go, we do another one which is going to be marching. So we're just playing about with the animation and moving his legs about and getting him sorted for the marching animation. Then going into a sit position, so we the best idea for this is to go, I went back to the idle because idle is he's already in the sit position and then from there do new animation because the new animation goes off of the position of the one that you've clipped from there instead of having to move him all the way back down i just need to spread his legs open move his arms about much much easier playing about with ideas with the hat wanted to because we made it separate i wanted it to just be a little bit different in some of those go back to idle and we're gonna do lay so we're just gonna rotate him so he's on his back put him up Get him centered and uh, then we're going to play about with the legs. For a little while I was a bit unsure where exactly I wanted the legs to be, right at the bottom or a little bit up. I settled on um, sort of like as close the bottom without them actually being there. Rotate the arms as well. And then because of the separate hat, I did want to pop pop the hat on top of his head. Uh, I thought it made it just look a little bit funny as if he's, you know, taking a nap. So we're now doing a different sit animation. So I wanted the hat on correctly um, and just move the legs in a different way. It looks more like he's just waving. So for this one, I actually... <sighs> This was an idea that I ended up taking away, so I wanted to do something like I did with the elf that I made, and um, where I made it sort of look like it had like happy eyes. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So I made a copy of the face, where then I just made the eyes coming off of the face. I did another child node for the eyes and just trying to play about with that and duplicated it so we can have two eyes and see we start trying to position those eyes we go to make a new animation happy face and this is where i start trying to work on the eyes so this is me deciding does it look better with it sort of peeping out the side of his face um, I didn't think it actually looks that great like that, uh, so I was trying to I'm just play about, trying to get that right. I decided eventually that it just wasn't quite working the way I wanted it to work. We ended up taking those off. I wasn't happy with how it ended up looking, but I wanted to keep this in to just show you what could be possible. 
um if his face was maybe a little bit bigger i did have like the happy eyes on my little elf that i made but that worked much much easier whereas this just didn't seem to be working i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe all that fun stuff leave a comment down below about what you think what else would you like to see Check out some of my other videos that will be down the side and wherever you are in the metaverse, have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Goodbye.